Hi guys, this is Scott McLean from TranceMusicMastery.com. And this past week I received an email from a Trance Music Mastery member who was asking about how to make the kick and bass sit well in the mix. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is the sounds that I've selected for this demonstration. Okay, so let me go ahead and play everything together and start soloing the individual tracks. So this is everything, it's just a simple loop. Got the kick. This sort of bassy, throbbing sound. This uh, very wide bass. Okay, so that's everything. So the goal is to get each one of these tracks, the instruments on each track, sounding very clear in the mix and controlled. The first thing I'm going to do is set up a spectrum analyzer uh, that will help us understand where the conflicts are in the mix currently. So to do that, I'm going to get a plugin. It's free. It's from Vox and Go, and the plugin is called Span Spectrum Analyzer. And the way I'm going to set this up is I want to have each one of these channels going into the Spectrum Analyzer so that we can see, um, we can compare like the kick with this bass or this bass with that bass and so forth. So to do that, I'm going to use some of the routing features of both live and uh, span. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to uh, create a audio track, and I'm going to use this to hold a instance of span. And this is the Spectrum Analyzer plugin. If you're not familiar with it, uh, I highly suggest you uh, download this plugin and start using it. Get familiar with it. It's uh, really fully featured and um, very useful, as you'll see in this video. So let me go ahead and show you how this works currently. So what I need to do is route. I want audio. I want to send the, the audio from the kick track into track six. So to do that, I'm going to go to the input output section in the channel strip. And I want to say audio to six and track in is fine. And if I do that, then when I play the track and I select in order for channel six to get the audio from tracks that are sending audio to it, you have to select in under the monitor section. Okay, okay, so, so now, now what, what we're, we're hearing, hearing is, what, what we're, we're hearing, hearing is, we're hearing, hearing my voice. voice. <laughs> okay, okay, let, let me, me uh, let, let me, me change this, this to no input. Okay, there we go. So, anyway, so we're not going to receive any input, audio input, other than what's being sent from other channels into this cha into channel six. Okay, so I can do the same thing with base one. Send it to channel six and track in. And if I mute the kick, we still see this signal. Let me mute these other. Okay, so now you're seeing the spectrum for this first base. Okay, it's got this interesting pitch shift here. You can see the the wave cycle up. Okay, cool enough. Now, there's a couple things we can do with Vox and Ghost Band. We can have both. Right now, Group 1 is configured to receive the left and right inputs. 
from the track. But Vox and Ghost Band also can select or can support up to eight channels. So right now we are only using two channels. So if I wanted to put, for instance, the kick and this bass on the same graph, I can do that by basically separating the routing so that one signal goes to one channel and the other signal goes into another channel within Box and Go. So I'm going to walk you through that, how to set that up. So the first thing we need to do, let me stop the audio for a second till we have this configured. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up so that basically um, it's, it's kind of complicated. I spent a few hours actually, to be honest, just going through and figuring out how this whole routing thing works. Um, but once you do, it, it makes a lot of sense. So let me kind of help you out if you're not familiar with channel routing within Vox and Go Span. Um, save you some trouble. Basically, it's got eight inputs. So here's the input routing. It's got the left, the right, N3, N4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. So right now, there are, there are only two uh, inputs that are being used by Vox and Go. And Vox and Go has what they call uh, names for each of the internal channels. And right now, those names are, you can change them here. Um, but right now, by default, they're just A through uh, G, I believe. Well, H. So, so A and B, C and D. We'll map C and D, E and F. And I'll explain this in a second. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm setting up an 8 input scenario. I'm, I'm going to set up an 8 in and an 8 out scenario. So within Vox and Go, there are eight channels, and right now they are named A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. It exposes inputs. It provides inputs to the host application, the DAW, um, inputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, and we'll see how to use those in a second. Now, working our way down, we can. I'm going to skip this mid-side pairs section. I'll, I'm going to do a, a tutorial again uh, at some point in the future on mid-side um, processing and EQing and things like that. But um, for right now, we'll just skip it. It's not important to this tutorial. Um, Vox and Go has what are called what it calls groups, and it can have up to eight groups. And the groups are basically just for the interface purposes. And you can see four groups are enabled down here um, because there are four uh, basically left and right pairs, if you will, um, configured for the group assignments right now. If I take four, for example, and I can, I can basically set up a, an eight-channel um, scenario by basically just numbering these one through eight so but just to show you how the a and b inputs like our kick and our uh, bass right now are flowing through vox and go let me start this up now right now a the left input is getting channel a and the right input is getting channel b so if i split these by panning the kick to the left and the bass to the right I've got the kick coming in on the left input, and that's going to be sent into channel A, and the bass going into the right input and sent to channel B. Now, in turn, A is going to be sent to group 1, and B is going to be sent to group 1, and they're both going to be graphed in the same display, like they are now. It's a single line. It's combining both signals into the single, sig, uh, single group 1. And then the output is A and B. That's our stereo out. So what we can do is if we want to graph these separately, I can say, let's send this to group two. Let's send the channel B to group two. So our base is going to be on group two. Now, if I take behind here, if I switch to group two, 
I now see the, the bass. If I switch back to group one, I see the kick. Now Vox and Go, let me just close this routing channel, channel routing window for a minute. Uh, there's a neat feature with the underlay where you can select one other group to graph kind of underneath um, the current graph. So I can actually select group two. And now I see the bass and the kick on the same graph. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch both of these graphs to um, to master and disable the second spectrum and then go to group two. change it to master and disable the second spectrum okay so pretty cool and we can use this so what I'm gonna do is stop the music for a second and uh, get get the routing window back up and basically finish configuring the routing so what I want to do is I want to have each channel go all the way through to its own group so I'm gonna have um, C go to group 3, D go to group 4, E go to group uh, 5, F go to group 6, G go to group 7, and H go to group 8. So that's 8 in, 8 different groups, all those channels, each channel is mapped to its own group, and we now see groups 1 through 8 down here in the UI, user interface. And now what I'm going to do is set up the output routing so that we can hear the different groups. And in this case, I'm just going to do C and D. So that'll be three outs, three and four. E and F will go to outs five and six. And G and H will go to outs seven and eight. So that's an 8 in, 8 out arrangement, and that's going to allow us to work with all five different channels within one instance of Vox and Go to help us EQ our mix. So let's um, take a look at that real quick. Ah! 